So uh, Marty, we know that uh, the importance of resume is to get that call because if your if your resume is not getting you interviewed, so there's something wrong with your resume. But if your resume is getting you interviewed, it means that your resume is good. Now you need to be preparing for your interview. And majority of the time, what I tell my client is that research the company, research the interviewer, uh, prepare a behavioral question, and ask them questions at the end. In uh, do you think as a coach yourself? How can they approach the interview preparation? Well, I tell people that there is one important question that you should actually ask before the interview even starts. Mm. Most people don't do this because they think the, inter <laughs> they think the interviewer is in total control. Mm. But the question that you should ask as an interviewee before the interview starts is, hey, before we get started, would you mind if I ask a quick question? And most interviewers will say, fine. You know, yeah. And if they don't, that's okay. You'll save it to the end. The question is, for the individual moving into this role, what do you think are the three most important challenges that they are going to face coming into this job? And when they answer that question, you've now got the answers to the test because they're going to tell you three things. Mm. They're going to weigh very heavily on the person that we're going to select for this job. And so now if you can pivot periodically throughout the course of that interview, back to these three things that they yes. told you are going to weigh real heavily, mm. boy, your chances of winning them over are going to go up dramatically. So that to me is an easy thing for people to do. You've just yeah. got to be willing to ask. If yeah. they say, no, I'm sorry, we, we, you know, I've got a lot of ask. That's, that's okay. You're no worse off than if you hadn't asked. Yeah. Uh, but preparation for an interview, so important. You got to, you got to do your research on the industry and on the company. Um, but you've got to become a really good storyteller. Yeah. I tell people resumes tell, but stories sell. And it's mm -hmm. the stories that we talk about, you know, where you can talk about the impact you've had, the achievements that you had, the measurability and the accountability you had in previously, you know, driven jobs where, where you were, were a key member of a team. Um, and it's really easy to do, you know, take the five, six, maybe 10 most important requirements of a job grab an Excel spreadsheet. On the left-hand column, put the key requirements. And on the right-hand column next to each one of those, put a few keywords that remind you of the story that you're going to tell. Yeah, You can use this in phone interviews. You can use it in Zoom interviews. You can use it in person for interviews because it's a real great confidence builder because you know if for some reason you can't remember the story you wanted to tell, you just glance down at this little spreadsheet and, and, and now you're off and running. It'll remind you of the story you want to tell. Um, and, and the fact is you should also do your homework with people in your network because mm -hmm. you're going to know the names of all the people you're going to interview with beforehand. Yes. Well, you may share some common, you know, LinkedIn yeah. connections. And Check them on LinkedIn. Tell you, yeah, absolutely. Here's what this person is about. Here's what's important to them. And, and, and now you've got some background information that could be very helpful during the interview process. I always tell my clients that, have the job description and all the requirements or duties, you should have a story to back that up. Exactly. So that, and even write them down or practice it before, or maybe on Zoom so that you can see yourself because practicing is important and to have those stories. But in, in, at the lastly, um, what questions they should ask? Is there any question that you recommend them to ask besides what we talked about the first thing? Yeah, at the end, there's a, there's a number of just logical ones. Mm -hmm. um, one is, you know, if they haven't explained to you, why is this position available? Yeah. Because uh, maybe, maybe this has been a revolving door. Maybe this has been a job they've been struggling to keep somebody in. You know, another one might be, you know, um, can you tell me what is, the, you know, what is the, the process and the likely timeline for filling this position? Yeah. And then one of the most important at the end is, is there any reason, is there, well, is there anything we haven't covered that you wanted to yeah. uh, about my background? And lastly, is there any reason why you wouldn't move me on to the next stage yeah. in the process? Yeah. You've got to ask that yeah, question. Yeah, I tell my clients to, to ask that question. Is there any hesitation or any red flag that I should answer or something comes up, right? Do you yeah, think that they can also come in the follow-up email within 24 hours? They can ask that or, or it should be there. No, do it. Do it right then and there. Mm -hmm. the because one of the things that drives you know, that job seekers crazy is the silence, the ghosting. Yeah. 
Golf yeah, you have a great interview. You think you're on to the next stage and, and, and weeks go by and you're not hearing anything. So, yeah. you know what, you got to ask the question, you know, is there any reason why you wouldn't move me forward in the process? Yeah. And if they, if they have some potential objection, well, then it's better you hear it right now yeah. and can potentially address it right on the spot. Cause maybe you forgot to mention something in your background. That's yeah. very relevant to the position. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, don't let them get away without, you know, yeah. asking them that question. Yeah. Those are great tips, uh, Marty. Thank you very much. And with that, my interview comes to an end. I really enjoyed the conversation. Very practical tips that job seekers can implement. And if you're watching this last video, I've posted all five videos before, so you can go back, uh, watch them, make comments, and share it with your network. And tune in uh, for next week, guys. I'm preparing another guest. Again, Marty, thank you very much. And let's keep in touch. Bye, everyone. Great. Thank you. Thank you.